Hi guys, uh, welcome to Java Tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll see about the switch statement with the help of an example. So first of all, what is a switch statement and when do we use the switch statement? Suppose if we have a multiple possibilities, we can go for a switch statement. So based on the condition or based on the value, uh, a particular corresponding case block will get executed. If you see here, if you pass the value, if you see here switch and here will be having the variable and based on the value of the variable the corresponding case gets executed okay if none of the cases are not satisfied with the condition or value default block will get executed so if you see here we have a break statement what this break statement does is this break statement uh, is used whenever a particular case is get, gets executed it automatically breaks and it comes out of the switch block if you see here uh, what is the difference between if then else and switch statement? We can use if then else statement, right? And we have uh, then why are you using switch statement? If we have a complex logic like conditions, then we will go for if then else. If we want to execute a condition or if we want to execute a path based on a single value, then we go for a switch statement. Okay, so here are the switch how switch works. Switch works with the following data types. Which data types byte short care in types and it also works with string okay from java 7 and if you see here a statement as i told you a statement in switch block can be labeled with one or more case or default labels next so what is the difference between switch and if then else in switch we will be test we based on uh, the test expression gets executed based only on single integer okay now let's go to the program and execute the switch. Switch demo So first I'll define one variable marks optime okay i'll define one variable marks optime and now i am what i am doing is i am writing one switch statement i am just writing this switch statement very simply without any complex conditions or like that just to explain the how switch statement works so here i am giving marks optime okay and here I am giving uh, case statement case 1 let me check I am getting some error ok it's actually not initialized so that's why we are getting some compilation error so for the time being I am giving 60 marks ok so if we give 60 marks in the case statement it should print first class okay and if we get 50 marks we need to print second class and if you give 30 marks you need to set fail and there is one statement called default statement which is like unable to give designation okay so if the marks are 10 has an exact match then the corresponding case will execute if none of the case statements are executed it will execute default statement and it will come out and this break statement is required for all the case statements this is the case and this is the case okay Now, 
here I have given the marks obtained as 60. Then it will execute what it should I should get the output as first class. Let's run the program and see the output and whether I am getting correct output or not. So if you see we got the output as first class. Now I will be giving value as 50. Now run the program. Now you should get second class. Okay. Now I am giving some marks as 10. So in this case I don't have any exact match. So in that case it should execute this default block. Let's run the program and see the output. Unable to give the designation. So this is how the switch statement works. So whenever the whenever uh, for an expression it has an exact match the corresponding case will get executed and come out of the switch block if none of the case statements are executed it will go to the default block and it will print this okay hope you guys understand about the switch statement thanks for watching my video if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my videos